my gorgeous sparkly Aquarius welcome to your love tarot reading this is going to be for you and your person my darling boo boo whatever that means to you situationship relationship bumble date marriage let's take a look at Aquarius Sun Moon Rising and uh, Venus my darling uh, please show me angels what's happening here also Aquarius with these you versus them readings we're assuming some kind of a rift or separation happening between you and your person even if you're still together summon summon uh, going on, you know, something in the air. Uh, also, Aquarius, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I love you. I appreciate you. I see you, baby. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. I love you, my Aquarius says. You know how much I love you on this channel. Blue Angel Love Tarot loves Aquarius says. Um, there's always an Aquarius in my life uh, at any one time. I can't explain it. I'm a Scorpio. I don't know what it is, but there's something going on. So mm, you're the best Aquarius. What can I, you know it, you know it. This person knows it too. They're in this uh, Aquarius energy right now. King of Swords uh, is Libra, but uh, very often in my readings, uh, they do come up as Aquarius. King, Queen, anyone in between doesn't really matter. But yeah, uh, I feel like they're definitely thinking about you over time. Uh, even if you are in a, a straight up separation, this is someone who's thinking about you over time, someone who cannot let you go in their thoughts. Like they keep they keep coming back to you in their thoughts. You got the devil here for how this person sees you. This person is like crazy in love with you. They feel bound to you. They feel enslaved by you. They feel tempted by you. What is going on? It's like there could be something taboo about this connection because you know also this Libra energy in the card for your person's energy is telling me that maybe this person is trying to do the right thing by not engaging with you currently why is someone married here is, does everyone know about i don't know let's see so why is this uh situation happening right now please angels show me oh ooh, ooh, ooh. well it's true love all right it's true love somebody wants to too many that's too many that came out also curious forgive me if i seem a little bit slow on the, with the uptake today but i am just boiling it's so hot i have no air conditioning i can't open the window in my room it's like a whole thing it's like a, i'm i'm delivering this from a sauna we are broadcasting me and the you know the guy behind with the blue one behind me we're broadcasting from a sauna basically so i don't know who i am anymore but it is an out of body experience mmm Hmm. Wow. <sighs> you might want to check out the cancer reading because there was a similar energy for cancer. <sighs> Your person sees you as a temptation and uh, some kind of a danger in their life. Wowzers. So look, if it's an established connection here, if it's something that's been going on for a while, this person, there is, okay, there's uh, a bunch of stuff going on. This person, um... This connection was cut off because someone thought it would it, it wasn't going to work because there was too much distance or you, or you were too different. Uh, so it's either a long distance relationship or you're too different. So there could be many reasons why you're too different. It could be you've got the chariot energy, cancer energy here. It could be because this person believes that you are just too different in your personalities. It could be that this person believes that there's too much actual distance because it's a long distance relationship. Or it could be because this person thinks you have very different ideologies about relationships. So you have very different interpretations of commitment, relationship, freedom, stuff like that. You have the queen of wands here and the king of pentacles uh, and also it could also be the case that this person is afraid of you in a sense you know this person this person is afraid of you Aquarius not gonna lie because you're coming up in the devil energy and that queen of wands here is telling me that quite possibly someone here is married and they're afraid of the energy of someone who's coming in that's going to seduce them or they feel seduced by you or you know maybe you feel seduced by them there's like that kind of an energy here so you know take these messages as they resonate um I'm not accusing you of, you know, getting involved with a married boo-boo or anything like that, but there could be something taboo or something hidden, something risque, something, you know, because that double hair is like, you know, very tempting to this person, but they know it's wrong. For some reason, they feel like it's wrong to pursue the connection on some level. Uh, maybe because they don't want to get hurt. They don't want your, you, you to get hurt. Like I say, there's some kind of a difference, something between you, some kind of an abyss between you. And it could be that, you know, one per, uh, both people aren't available fully you know legally available or because there's distance of some kind uh with the king of wands here in their intentions they are trying to they will be trying to 
at least they intend to reach out. They intend to uh, shed some light on the situation. They intend to quite possibly not let you go either. Because this devil, you know, this person doesn't want to give in to this temptation, this devil. For some reason, they think there's too many obstacles between the two of you. But at the same time, in their intentions, they've already decided that it's almost like inevitable. Uh, you know, a lot of very contradictory energy here, Aquarius. You're always... You're always, me too, Scorpio as well. Scorpio and Aquarius, we're always dealing with these people who like, it's like they try and like do something. It's like they're always trying to show us something or show us that, that they can do better or something. They never can and we don't even pay attention. And then they come back and, you know, it's like, I feel like the Aquarius readings often show someone who's like, you know, your boo is like in a whole battle of good and evil inside of their soul inside of their mind and heart and you're just minding your your own business you know what i'm saying you're just doing your own thing but there was a cutting off energy here so you know uh you could be going through something here too because you know this person ghosted you in some way or broke up with you uh you know that is painful even if it was an established connection for some reason this person believed that it would be better for you to be uh uh you know, separated because maybe someone wanted to travel, someone got a new job, or there was some kind of uh, an abyss when it comes to understanding, your, your understanding of life and how relationships should work between the two of you. Let me clarify something here. Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles. Yes, thank you, Seven of Wands. Okay, yeah, there's drama with this person. But yeah, so you know what I mean? Like, it's like this person is having this whole, like, emotional battle with themselves, and it doesn't even come to you because you're just, like, living your life. You know, there's a separation, quiet time. You're doing your thing. This person's, like, going crazy inside their own mind, arguing with you inside of their own mind. Scorpio gets the, that energy all the time, but Bill... You know what I'm saying? It's like someone's arguing with you, but they're just arguing with themselves. It's like, wh like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Death at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. So is this really over, Bibu? Can this be transformed? I'm not sure that it is entirely over. I feel like your person, huh, your person is trying to do the right thing by everyone and they're struggling to do it. Two of Pentacles, you know, there is that distance energy here as well. So it could very well be a long distance relationship or a, an ideological or emotional distance here that's happening. This person will try and breach the distance. Two of Pentacles, they will take a leap of faith with you one more time. So in the next two hours, two days or two weeks, uh, maybe for some of you two months, I do see this person coming back around at least to have some kind of a try. Like that's what I'm getting um, the energy of strongly. Like they're going to give it a try. Someone's going to give it one more try or give it a chance or something like that. You know, throw, uh, throw caution to the wind and or th roll the dice and see where the dice land. Because some, as much as they want to do the right thing and for some reason they think being with you is not the right thing, they're going to keep on coming back to you. Seven of Wands is someone who will fight for this connection, Bibu. It is someone who will fight for this connection, but also someone who is coming in uh, with some resentment here with the death card, you know, with resentment, thinking it's over. Is it not over? Maybe they wanted you to pursue them, but it didn't work out for them. Something, something, you know what I'm saying? Something, something. It's not a bad person. This is not a dead inside person, but this is a stubborn boo-boo as well because you got the king of pentacles here. This is a stubborn, this is a stubborn character, all right? This is a stubborn character. Ca lots of Capricorn energy in your reading as well. Also, something could have uh, occurred in Capricorn season. Maybe the rift started occurring around Capricorn season last year or Scorpio season last year. These two seasons are coming up a lot in the readings recently or even Libra season last year. Like so, for some of you, this is a very like long winded ongoing situation. Uh, but that person is coming back around. So if it's someone who ghosted, if it was a bimbo himbo who was like, look, we can't do this because it's a long distance and I can't do long, something like that. I can't do long distance or we're too different or something was not quite 100%. This person's coming back in. Um, and if it's a, a more established connection, the same thing will occur. Oh, boo -boo. But it's up to you if you want to take this person in, if you want to talk to them. You don't have to. It's up to you. You know, this death card is saying, you know, 
now what? Is it really dead or is it going to be transformed? So it, it, is, uh, it is your choice, my darling, uh, gorgeous Aquarius, because it's all about free will on this channel. Uh, this is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. If you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe, turn on that notification button, and of course, like the video, because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is down below, my darling. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care of yourself, stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you, boo-boo.